let's config the part where we add a file and add a folder. So we currently have a fab that allows us to click in and show this component where we add a folder or upload file. We need to set a page um, parameter, a component parameter where it accepts a parent path. So we know where to store it relative to the whole structure. And it's going to be a required and it's going to be a type string. Now to navigate to it, we go back here, floating action button, add action. Let's add a custom dialog. And the custom dialog will be of um, the fab add. And what we need to pass is the parent path. And we've saved this in the parent path variable. Next, let's go back to our fab. So the first thing we're going to do here, when the user clicks add folder, it navigates to this page. And if the user clicks upload file, it navigates to this page. This also needs to accept a component parameter of parent path. So we know where to add it. So this is a lot type string it's required. And I'll do the same for the folder here. Type string, parent path, type string. And it's also going to be required. Now let's quickly config this to add a folder. So this button here, well, this cancel button will close the dialog. This add button here, let's quickly create action. We're going to create a document of files and a document we'll be creating is the and the fields we need to populate is the date time so it'd be current date time the file title is going to be of the widget state the type is going to be specific that specific value we're adding a folder i'm just going to call it folder the dialog url we don't need because that's only specific to files parent path we're going to set it based on our page, our parameter. And download URL, we don't need as I said, not deleted, so the user reference. The user reference is gonna be of authenticated users, user reference. And once that's done, dismiss the dialogue. Now let's do the same for adding a file. Adding a file is slightly more complicated because we need to upload the file and then when we press save, i.e. when we add the file, we um, retrieve this URL of this added file from our Firebase storage. So let's quickly config this button first. So let's config this button to add a upload file action. And here, the upload file will be to Firebase of type um, any. So any means it can upload, you know, whatever. It could be PDFs, it could be audio, it could be photos, etc. We won't show snack bar, we're only gonna allow one. And let's call this output as uploaded file. Perfect. Next, we when we add the file, we'll actually actually add the file into our backend. Let's do the same as creating a document. Our collection files, this file, the fields we need to set is of course the date time, which is current time. File title will be based on the widget states. File title. The type will be of file. The download URL. This is where we need to retrieve the uploaded file URL. So it will be the uploaded file URL here. The parent path will be of our parameter is deleted is false, so we don't need those. And the user ref, which is the last important field we need to set, is authenticated users, user reference. And then similarly, we will dismiss the dialog. What I want to do here for the home page when someone navigates to it is that on page load, we set this local state variable to be of home slash. So that means whenever someone loads the screen, it will always be home whenever we add a file initially with no folders existing or no files existing it will add to home slash parent path so i'm quickly add an action on page load we set the page 
state. So add the page state, and then I'm going to set value to home slash. Before I run and test the app, um, one thing I miss is that from the fab add, we need to navigate and show the dialog for add folder and add file respectively. So let's quickly add those. So I'm going to quickly add a custom dialog alert. I select the component. The first one is add folder. We're going to pass the parent path based on the parameter. Similarly, I'm going to do the same thing for the folder. So I'm just quickly, uh, for the file. So I'm quickly copy this action and let's paste the action here. And this is going to be not of add folder, but of add file. And the parameter we're going to um, pass is also based on the parent path parameter that we are receiving. So I've loaded this up. Let's press the add button. We can add custom dialog should pop down here, but we can fix it later. Let's press add folder. Let's just fix this, the width as well, so it doesn't stretch all the way. Um, but this is all UI changes. Let's quickly dismiss this and see if upload file works. Perfect. Yeah, it loads up there. Let's make a similar. Uh, let's make a similar for our add folder where it shows here. Great. Let's add a folder to see if the function ID of it works. So let's call this folder folder A. I'm going to add the folder, and then similarly, I'm going to upload. Let's see if we add it in the back end. So I'm going to refresh the database. Here are files. Here we have a credit add time, file title. The parent path is home slash, and the type is folder, and I've used a reference, which is me. So it seems to be working. However, this front end doesn't seem to be showing. Let's debug this. Okay, the reason why it's not showing on the front end here when we add a folder is because in the backend query we have uh, we are looking for is false is deleted equals to false however when we add the file we haven't set any state so when we add press here let's quickly change this to is deleted into false and then add folder is deleted is also false here this should this should work so I can quickly in the back end change is deleted equals to boolean of false and then similarly for this folder we created is deleted boolean is false and ideally this should show see so you can see here the folder title and the file name has been um, well, it's sh showing value that there is something in it, but we haven't just but we haven't configured the name and the upload date yet. So let's quickly do that as well. Let's go back to file manager. The title should be files document title. Um, the upload date should be of date time of the files document. Uh, credit that. Let's just do maybe date time format of let's just pick uh, this structure and similarly we're going to do this for the files itself so it'll be files document files title date time similarly i'm just going to go to files document credit at date time format of ymmd perfect let's refresh this to see what shows we can see here there's folder a and a photo of a call here which i uploaded and we can see the folder structure and the path we're currently at is of home. So let's config the um, interaction we need when we dive deeper into each folder. So what we need to do here is, let's just say the user selects folder A, we need to update the parent path to append folder A, to append folder A um, to this kind of existing folder structure. So it'll be home slash folder A when we click double click into folder A. So in order to do this, let's config the action on double tap on the folder itself. We'll create, a, we'll update the page state. So the page state we're updating is we want to update the parent path variable. We want to set the value. So the value we want to set is actually a combination of the current 
the current parent path variable plus the folder name that we just clicked on. So the file title and then add a slash at the end. So let's refresh this. So I'm going to double click into A and here you can see folder structure A has nothing in it. Let's add a folder to see what happens. Let's say this is folder B inside of folder A. Perfect. So you can see here is home path and folder A. We're currently in folder A and within folder A, there's a folder B. And let's check the back end as well. So here we can see here there's a folder of, uh, there's a folder with title folder B, where the parent path is home slash folder A, um, and it's created just then. So we've covered a lot. In this lesson, we covered the front end showing um, and navigating the correct folder structure in addition to uploading files and creating folders. Stay tuned for the third part about renaming files and moving files. Remember to like, comment, or subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.